Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do the castle quest. Now this is a pretty long process for everyone that's watching. You see this castle? They're going to want to just go straight in. Well first, you're not even going to be able to get straight in without doing the quest. So first, you're going to want to just go up here. Okay, so first get to the castle. Most of you should know where it is. If not, look on the map. It says castle right on it. You're just going to keep going up here. Oh no, this dumb freaking PKing crap. This may be a long video now. I can't even get through. Okay. So like it, so you're just gonna keep going. Like why? Sorry, I'm sick. If I cough and a bunch of stuff. Okay, so you're gonna keep going. Move. And you're gonna go down here. <coughs> you're gonna see this like little building. You're gonna go inside, and you're gonna have to sneak past the guards and get a key first part of the quest for most important you have to do it see it's gone I already did it I'm gonna try it once even if I fail so the main point is you just don't get caught I'll do it two times as an example I already did it so there's really no point but yes you get a key which is extremely important in this quest Okay, so he spotted me, but he's usually asleep a lot. So I'm just giving you some tips on this. Okay, but anyways, yeah, so once you sneak past there, you're going to get the key. Okay, so say you got the key, it's going to be in your quest area. See, it's going to be in your quest. I already did the quest, so it's and it's already used. Okay, so now you're going to go back to the castle. This is where the fun starts. Right, like I said, sorry if I'm coughing and all that, I'm sick. Okay, so here we are basically. So you're like, how do I get in there? You're going to have to go down here. And then you're going to go up. So right now, I would get your lantern and your rat morph. Your lantern and your rat, rat morph. And if you don't know, just pause the video and there you go. Lantern and rat. So you're going to walk into the castle. You're going to see beautiful stuff. You have to do the quest before you buy anything. Well, you could do it, but I recommend doing the quest. Okay, so you're going to see all this big stuff. You're going to go to the left stairs. You're going to go all the way to the top. And you're going to go to the first door right here. You're going to walk inside. Just keep going straight. Just keep going straight until you see that other door. So now you're in this door. you got this big area. So you walk in. And just go straight. Keep going straight. And just keep going straight. Okay, now, this is where the quest starts. Okay, so, when you're seeing this right here, this right here is not lit. But these are lit. And you're like, whoa, has that open? Well, what you're going to do is get your lantern and light this on fire. Then that is going to open. Then you are going to enter that. Then you're like, whoa, go ahead, open all your chest. You're like, wait, how do I get this? Well, this is where you're going to go to your quest and get the key it's either going to be in your quest or tools and then you're just going to use that and you're going to open it then you're going to get something called a warp ring or a warp crystal i forget which one but you're going to get all of them don't worry so once you got that this is where you're going to need your rat morph okay so here you got your rat morph you're going to go in all you're going to do is just keep going straight till you hit a wall then go down and then you're gonna be in this room now this is where you're gonna get the thing now you could explore it a little bit I don't even know how people are all getting these blue hats this may be another quest but I will figure it out and you're gonna get kicked out if you walk around too much okay so once that you open up the chest you're gonna get something called a warp ring and a warp crystal now what the warp ring does is it warps you all over ground. But you get to choose where you want to get warped. And you're like, whoa, how do you do that? Well, you know how you got the warp crystal? <laughs> um, you're about to find out right now. So go ahead, get your amount. <sighs> oh my god. Go ahead, get your amount. <laughs> and then 
Yeah, have you been seeing those pillars all around Grau that we've been talking about and discussing? Well, the only one that I know where it is is in um, Yorktown, which you only get one of these, so you get to warp yourself to one place that you only want to go, which I only know of one, so I'm going to have to go to Yorktown. Now, you could also say on Stick Me to Warp You, but this is just more advanced. Um, so I'm almost there. Okay, so you're going to get into Yorktown. Most of you should know where this is, if not just follow my directions. You're going to see like this big castle church thing. <gasps> Where's that orbit thing? That's probably what you're wondering. Well, this is where you're going to go to your inventory. It should say quest. I don't know. A bunch of stuff's going to get warped and transferred and all that. So yeah. <coughs> you're going to get your warp crystal. And you are just going to go against this and place the warp crystal on there. You place the warp crystal in the Yorktown pedestal. And then you can have an option. So now look at that. Now I have a gem on there. So now you use your warp ring. And you can either have an option to get warp there. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's the quest. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me get a bit far away. And then you could test this out. So use my warp ring. Uh, you could either just, that's random, basically saying, like, unstick me in Yorktown. There you go. And look what just happened. Warped randomly in Yorktown. What an amazing quest. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next quest. Have an amazing day.